place and causing some real problems. And it looks to be a similar story today. We're a couple of hundred yards away from the Irish Sea. With a stretch of coast known as the Mumbles just over the road here in Swansea. And it's slightly more sheltered on the track. And we're back there now for the first semi-final of the men's 100 metres in the T11 category. Four athletes, all running with guides from France, Spain, Portugal and Spain again. And here is Timothy Adolfe of France running with his guide Cedric Philippe. Parisian with a personal best of under 12 seconds. Martin Pareo, we saw pick up a silver in the long jump yesterday, running with his guide, Timoteo Stuart Ortiz. Fermino Baptista of Portugal, a veteran now, a silver medal way back in the 2000 Paralympics. Pablo Cantero. Jumped a personal best in the long jump yesterday. Looking to use his sprinting speed here on the track. The first in each heat will qualify, along with the two fastest losers for the final. And as we've seen already in the women's races, the guide will hold on to some binding or rope try and ensure that they finish behind their sprinter to give them a legal time many of these guides are international athletes in their own right and Parejo missed out on a gold medal in the long jump by just two centimeters as a personal best of 11.92 the European record 11.38 set way back in 1983 and the guides have to make everything absolutely right for their runners to ensure they settle in the blocks properly and get the best possible start the first of two semi-finals and they do get away first time and Cantera makes a good start on the near side but coming through at the moment is Bantista of Portugal and it's going to be very very tight on the line and I think Adolfo of France just ahead of Pereira with Bantista very close in attendance there and that was a blanket finish on the line And the winning time, 11.66, which is very, very quick. And that was incredibly close. One of the biggest blanket finishes we've seen so far in the championships. Adolfo of France has been given it with a personal best of 11.66. He came through in lane one. And Pareo and Baptista were rather preoccupied with the battle inside and Pareo takes second place in a personal best of 11.68 in lane three and Baptista may have been run out of it so it's a win for the French Timothy Adolphe in a personal best which is lowered by more than a tenth of a second Pareo of Spain in second with Baptista of Portugal third and that was very very quick and that will put the pressure on those in the second semi-final there we are three personal bests 
And just look how close it was between Baptista and Quintero. In fact, they've been given joint third place, the Portuguese and the Spaniard. Parejo in second, 11.68. And Adolfe taking it just about 11.66. But four athletes there running at the peak of their powers. What a great start on the track in the men's T11 semi-final. Well, that could be very interesting if uh, it turns out that Baptiste and Cantera Lopez share uh, a fastest loser spot because at the moment that's exactly what's happening. First in each semi final goes through along with the next two fastest losers right now. Baptiste and Cantera Lopez are level, but we'll see what pans out in that. 